Hey, hello, awesome people, people from YouTube. It's me, the guy <laughs> with the sore testicle. It's been, um, it's been a long time since I, uh, I uploaded the, the surgery, varicocele surgery video. My English has not gotten any better. I lost the bitching porn star and mustache. Lost my hair too because uh, it's receding. So I said, "Fucking, I'm gonna go bald." But um, the reason I'm making this video is uh, um, how can I explain this? It's like a, a sort of follow-up to the surgery uh, video because over the years I've gotten um, a crap load of, of questions about it. Beginning, <laughs> I don't have. A, like right here that I would say, oh, um, Charlie Dickinson from Utah ask, dear Marriage Driver, no, no, I, I can't do that, but I can remember some of the questions, so I'll try to, uh, I'll try to answer the ones I, I can, I do remember. Uh, first, somebody asked me, where is part two? <laughs> Well, actually, a lot of people ask that. Yeah, you see, um, in one part of the videos, I was wearing this hospital thing, gown, robe, I don't know what you call it. So it's very short. And when I was lying on, on the bed, I kind of rolled on my side. And you could see my witness for three frames. And some asshole flagged the video for um, inappropriate content. And since that shit was uploaded so long ago, I didn't even had the option or knew about disputing stuff. So then I thought, well, I could maybe, okay, uh, let them block that shit, delete it, take the older version of the video and edit it, put, I don't know, cut those frames, put a, a thingy, you know, when they're trying to hide something on TV, like a lot of squares, mosaic, I don't know. But my hard drive died, so <laughs> that video is lost forever. And also is the DV tape, where it was recorded anyway, so yeah, no part two, sorry. Manly bits. Um, someone asked me, uh, what about sex drive <laughs> afterwards, the operation? Well. It never changed, not for me. I'm as horny as I always was. Well, not that bad. But uh, being operated on hurts a bit, so you're not getting any until you're mm, more or less healed. Um, someone asked me if the, um, if the problem, let's say, went completely away. Give me a second, I'm gonna light one of my. My convertible Lucky Strikes, which are minty. Anyway, someone asked me um, about recovery time. I guess that's where I, was, where I was going. So, recovery time. I got operated on... <laughs> I, I, I can't really remember, but I got operated on, let's say, Monday at uh, 20 p.m. and I got released uh, Tuesday before lunch, <laughs> lunch time, which here in Chile is uh, like 13 hours p.m. So and and I got myself. Uh, I left the hospital <laughs> on my own power walking. I got into my car and I drove home. You will feel a little discomfort. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Well, a lot of people ask me about the symptoms because they think they might have. Uh, I'm not gonna answer that because I'm not a doctor. My background is automotive mechanics, so I'm not the um, kind of person you should be asking for medical advice. The only advice I can give is go see your doctor and your balls will stop hurting or maybe you can eat, you maybe don't have varices in your testicles, you could have something worse or something not so serious. So do yourself a favor, 
don't ask me for advice and I, I don't mean not advice you can't ask for advice you should not ask for a diagnosis <laughs> okay so um, someone asked me once about the scar I wish I could show it to you guys but YouTube manly bits though you shouldn't really see some but uh, the scar the, the incision the wound the cut that the doctor makes goes like hmm a little bit above your dinky <laughs> a little above your tool on the pubic area and it's a very small cut uh, actually I removed the stitches by myself because the doctor told me how to do it I said so you don't have to come again just to wait through two hours to stay five minutes in here he told me how to do it and well uh, but I digress um, the scar you're gonna end up with in my case is about well you can really see the scale in here but it's around one centimeter long which is less than an inch but around half an inch half an inch even less so yeah don't worry about it <laughs> it's not gonna bother you at all um, someone else asked me uh -uh -uh, about the sperm count okay well that's one of the reasons I had the operation because mine was low and um, also my balls hurt but yeah so I got operated on and uh, sperm, sperm count is supposed to be better but I never followed up on that so yeah doctor told me most of the time it will fix the problem if it doesn't then the problem is some somewhere else uh, most problems can be fixed depending on how much page, patience and money you have but yeah can't help my case, I don't know. Mm, another question I had was, um, shit, I can't really remember. I've been asked a lot of things. Oh yeah, someone asked me if he would be able to lift weights, uh, lift weight, weights, weights. You know, do the gym thing. Uh, check out my guns, motherfucker, and uh, you know, uh, grow some muscle. I don't know either. I've never lifted a heavy thing in my life. <laughs> I'm actually very skinny. I never go to the gym. I smoke and I only drive. So about physical exercise? I don't know. I, I can move furniture and pick up big crates in the house around when I'm trying to tidy up or, or move. No problem. But no pain, no nothing. So I guess yeah you can lift ways heavy stuff do it <laughs> whatever floats your boat buddy and uh, 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 I'm trying to remember what else god it's been so many years since I uploaded that video you know but no I can't really think of any, anything else I, I could do a follow-up to the follow-up later but well basically if your balls hurt, or your ball, because in my case it was actually one, uh, go see your doctor. The doctor knows best. He studied for like lots of years on university and medical school and stuff. Don't ask a mechanic, <laughs> ask your doctor. If your doctor says you need the operation, I can tell by my own experience you don't have much to worry about. Uh, the surgery itself is quick. The recu recuperation is quick. Something fell on my ear. Um, recuperation is quick. Uh, the operation is quick. You'll be given medical leave for your work for like, what, three days? It, it's super easy. It's super easy, quick, almost painless. Most pain you will feel is almost nothing. And I'm a big sissy. So yeah, it's not painful at all. 
and most of the time you will get better with one operation. I, I have a friend who's a doctor said he had to be operated on twice, but it's not my case. So well, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I really hope that answers some of your questions. Keep your questions coming and uh, forgive me for such a really, really, really late and overdue response which came like, what, four years later? <laughs> hey, better late than never. So I'm a Rudy Driver. See you around.